the devil attacking your prayer life is not just to get you to backslide that's that's too small a motivation for him to destroy there are no speakings in the world. I refuse to be satisfied. One more drop. And I'll go on a Get into this video you're about to watch. Grow in grace and in the knowledge of Christ. You will need an encounter with the spirit of prayer and supplication. Please write it down. This is one of the dimensions where the prayer ministry is irreplaceable if it is the next level and the next move of god there is no there is nothing you will do to replace the ministry of prayer jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3 please write it quickly call on to me and i will answer the revelation is an answer it's a response I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that are not yet captured in your experience. Call on to me. Call on to me. Let me tell you something I've observed and I, I say this respectfully and I think it's a correction that the body of Christ needs to get. There are few believers who pray for edification. Most believers have left the ministry of edification to prayer most of our prayer is either warfare or request there's nothing wrong with warfare there's nothing wrong with request but let me tell you the dimension of the growth dimension of prayer is for edification where you don't enter the place of prayer with a prayer request where less than five percent of your prayer is in english you are not just entering to harass God. You are not just entering to say, Lord, there are powers sitting on my destiny. Leave destiny. The goal is edification. And you feel the growth. You feel the stressing from your spirit, man. Very few believers pray for edification. You can know it. Because you stand near them, they are weak, as weak as whatever. They love God, but their capacity is weak. Strength is discernible. Is why we fall off over everything you don't get this miracle you don't get that miracle you harass God all around but there is a level of strength and stability please hear me the next move of God will come on the wings of genuine prayer thank God for miracle service don't get me wrong there is a place of supplication and all of that and there is a place of intercession for others but can I tell you this those who were here many years ago in Zaria will tell you there were few times when many people today that are greatly used by God around there were few times where people took out time to actually pray for their own request believers who gather and just are praying no prayer point no prayer request is towards the end of the prayer they'll just say Lord just to let you know we have not eaten and we trust your grace for supplies just to let you know that we have this 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 issue but the average believer right now prays but our prayer does not bring the level of growth and stamina because that prayer is largely driven by lust the need for things so i can go to pray and spend six hours there correct well done but that six hours is almost five hours of harassing God. When will the power come, oh God? Is that prayer? That's inquiry. You've not started praying. There are few believers who can who can pray if a request is not, if a prayer point is not raised. You want them to pray, you have to raise a prayer point. Say this, then they say, so I am now follow and I'm prayed. Turn it into a prayer point. But when you say let's pray they just stand and say so what should we do now and other people are praying and they are just watching but when it's all right everybody stand up lord jesus lord jesus my life my life this and that this and that i'm not saying anything is wrong with that but have you learned the edification ministry of prayer the edification ministry to the point it used to be a big deal to be filled with the holy ghost 
if you were not filled with the Holy Ghost it was as if you were naked when believers gather by yourself you will find one brother and say sorry can you pray for me it used to be a project but right now there are believers who can be in a place for many years they know about being filled with the Holy Spirit and they don't argue it but they have not seen the need they just feel for one day if it happens let me just be filled capacity capacity there are set there are certain levels of grace and anointing that is a waste to come to you it's like pouring a drum of water inside a cup it doesn't make any sense you need to expand please tell somebody expand 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 you don't expand by preaching you don't expand by going for ministration you don't expand just by by doing bible study for others you don't expand by conducting deliverance for others no you have to lock yourself lock yourself look at jesus the word of god filled with the holy spirit while others are sleeping they are the ones who need him he will get up in the morning and pray for hours it was a daily habit to the point that when it was time for him to go to the cross from the communion the upper room he branched gethsemane and prayed there he spake a parable to the end prayer is an instrument that we can use to correct anomalies i agree but please hear me learn to get into the place of prayer without prayer points the prayer point is you the prayer point is you many of those things will be answered when you are answered the prayer point is you there are many many requests that are a revelation of weakness when you access strength with god you will check and not find the prayer points again and you are looking at time you are not praying you are praying you you pop tom tom you are not praying five minutes you know let me tell you this god loves everybody but he rewards seriousness god rewards seriousness there are pastors who are like that every two minutes you are leaking something or swallowing something there are times that you go to pray my brothers and my sisters you don't know whether you are on earth or you are in heaven you don't know it's a realm there are many things about prayer when it's said most believers don't know because that is a progression in a realm that you must get to for that thing to make sense we must pray our weaknesses are becoming very glaring we must pray for capacity in fact most people never sought anointing it was a byproduct of some of these things they didn't even know that anointing was to be sought directly now all and sundry you see a lazy all around crying for Benny Hinn's grace in in the secret place five minutes Lord the, a, a double portion of what is on Benny Hinn let it, and God is trying to say no 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 I can give you just I don't want any you know if you are God you give good gifts to those who love you and God said this is not how it works have regard for Benny Hinn, not just God you want a double portion of his anointing and you are there five minutes snoring back five minutes snoring back no revive your prayer life revive your prayer life revive the edification dimension of your prayer life revive the edification dimension of your prayer life revive the edification dimension of your prayer life please hear me revive the edification dimension of your prayer life don't just pray needs don't just pray warfare pray to grow pray to
to grow that's how many of us enter the realms of visions it was not a conscious request you pray your way till you break the gate that closes this realm and the next realm prayer like a system of transport revive your prayer life say amen there are men of God who don't pray they are praying for me that's a deception is a deception from the pit of hell let me tell you this if you are a man of prayer and you are edified through prayer there is a signature that that the strength and the health of your spirit man is written upon you are we together now your communication and everything shows that there is a track record of prayer you can stand on stage and mumble tongues and people look and the, the scarceness you know that this one is just is just it's not just the huskiness of your voice there is a it, it, the deep calls on to deep people know that this one mm -mm, you have you have is like creating a hole there is a a position your leg can stand in prayer when you find a widespread congregation not praying it's because the leaders don't pray you only transfer to people out of the abundance of the grace that is on you please learn to pray don't pray when you have a meeting this is what people do when they have conferences they now organize imaginary um, um, five or seven days prayer I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but if you have to wait for a program to pray you will never be powerful in this world everybody say prayer I'll find a place to stop so that we can continue a man of God said something that blessed me I think it was Dr. Paul Enenche I heard something that he said I, I scrabbled it somewhere and it, it blessed me I said boy I was going to share this I can I can I can't find it again but I think he was talking around the fact that it was it was something about prayer how that when prayer changes you then everything that belong to the old you will have to go with the old you because you are now changed are you seeing that now yes it's like changing an house. i don't need to carry the tree that was in my former house i didn't like it so i left the house the tree goes with it when you are changed many requests change too he spake a parable listen the church started on the wings of prayer and we must pray we must pray those listening to me please pray it doesn't matter what nation you are in pray you don't have to be the president of anything to pray right now this obsession about coordinator i'm the coordinator of a prayer group so i pray if you pray because you are a coordinator you are a hypocrite Coordinate yourself behind a tree. Coordinate yourself behind a door and sit down and pray. If there's no space in your house, use your bathroom. Use your toilet. Lock up that place and pray. Stroll out in the night and pray. You don't have to shout and harass the people there. But pray. If your bed is uncomfortable, stand up from it. Stand up from it. Don't pray one leg is on the ground. 20 or 40 percent of your body is on the bed and you are praying god knows you are weak he doesn't leave you weak he gives you strength prove that you have received it by standing up you don't have to have a bad dream then you wake up and say you don't know, i will show you that i'm a member of koinonia Shaka, ta, 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 ta. no no of that prayer so that while you are sleeping the prayer is like you praying there are people who are praying even when they are not praying yeah their prayer has created a prayer motion that even in their sleep prayer is going on their prayer has become a portal for angelic activities they don't have to pray for it to start call unto me 
call unto me call unto me we believe you are mightily blessed through this message if you have not given your life to christ please say this prayer lord jesus have mercy on me i know i have sinned against you forgive me all my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness and make me your own beloved child from jesus name amen I, 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 I,